in the first class i have put pediatric guideline why because this is direct uk guideline okay this guideline you have to know from now to till your end until the end of the journey okay so in the first class first two classes i will uh, give you instruction and read the guidelines one by one point out the important things so that later on whenever we will go to the specific system i can tell you that this is in the pediatric guideline this treatment you will study from the pediatric guideline that is why i have put it in the first so that later on it does not get haphazard okay so in the first two class the pediatric guideline will be given the complete instruction and this guideline you know from today if you want to work in uk as a pediatrician till the last day of your uh, practice you have to maintain this guideline okay so here are this is the first class and later on this cardiology in this class we will decide specifically about uh, discuss specifically about the cardiology topics for the foundation of practice and theory and science you all know for the foundation of practice part the questions are coming about the diagnosis management investigation and the theory and science part the questions are coming from the basic so from the cardiology the basic and the management part or clinical part both will be discussed in this class okay and then the endocrinology and diabetics the same way the foundation of practice topics and theory and science topics will be discussed and the fourth class is genetics and dysmorphology it will be discussed when this one block will be completed i will discuss the recall the recall means previous exam questions from these three system which questions are coming er wise today you will see how we have compiled this recall this is a very tiring work and i would like to thanks the admin team because i have just pointed out the specific questions from different uh, here the previous questions are put from probably 2004 2003 to 2004 to up to 2023 so you got to know how tiring it is to check every session question from every session the specific questions the questions from cardiology here we have this is the block to recall discussion so here we have put the respiratory neonatology neurology and ophthalmology and neurodevelopment all these specific portions are compiled here okay so in this exam mrcp ch exam you will have to know what is coming in the exam maybe you are you have completed md maybe you have completed fcps but honestly speaking this exam pattern is quite different from those uh, courses you know their guideline is different their planning of management is different their planning of investigation is different so that is why you have to know what is coming in the exam and in which mainstay they are proceeding for the management okay that is why these recall discussions are very 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 important from this recall discussion you will get to know what is coming in the exam how much repeat exams are coming like uh, how much same questions are coming repeatedly in a year or which topics are more important if you if i i will discuss one by one here system wise and it is being compiled with a very hard work of mine and the doctor's academic team and uh, in uh, this kind of compiled recall you will never get anywhere else because it is specifically made by us okay so this will help you a lot so in every block after completing of this system wise study we will discuss the recalls like the previous exam questions you see here we have four blocks and regarding the lecture notes and the study material i have compiled personally all the uh, lecture notes i have used the books that is directly published from the royal college of pediatrics and child health no other extra book or anything is added there okay they have uh, published 3 to 4 books from straight from royal college of pediatrics and child health and they are expecting the answer from those books each system lecture note is compiled from those four books and specifically in the cardiology lecture note you will get the specific chapters from those book specific cases from those books so that you don't need to uh, find anything from 8 to 10 books when i was preparing for my theory exam this kind of guideline was not available even when whenever i seek i seek suggestion from my seniors no one gave me this thing that you have to study specifically you don't need to study lot of things so when suppose i was studying cardiology i had to go through 7 to 8 books but after my exam i got to know that that 7 to 8 books was not necessary only 3 to 4 authentic books regarding those if i study those well that is more than enough 
that time we had to struggle a lot i am really glad that i can help my fellow uh, doctors regarding this specific guideline if you follow this specific guideline it will be more than enough to pass in the foundation of practice you will have to uh, get 64 or 65 percent marks to get passed at least and in theory and science you need uh, approximately 56 to 57 percent number to get passed but if you follow these guidelines more than 85 percent number is confirmed i can ensure you because the books are authentic only uh, approved by the royal college of pediatrics the theory and lecture notes everything is compiled from those books so there is no point of uh, misguiding or there is no point of uh, having confused okay all these main books i will share with you the names of the books but you don't need to study those books because every book is compiled systematically with each block uh, am i clear to everyone so you don't need to uh, search everything during my days i had to search all but now it's not necessary okay for the new students i would like to uh, tell you that first thing you have to have uh, focus that, that then uh, that in which diet you want to appear for the exam mm, think that this is october so if you want to um, appear for the February, you have to prepare that way. First of all, focus is very, very, very important. You know, if you are thinking that I am starting preparation, let's see when I will give the exam, it will never help. In my days, I did that mistake. I started to sort out the books. I started to think whether I will give exam or not. I started one coaching. I did a very short course of one month and later on, I got confused. I kept my book aside for one year. Later on, one year later, I was serious. I thought, no, I have to give the exam. And after within eight months, I, I could have completed all the three theory exams. So if I could have started earlier, it would be very easy for me. Don't get scared. We are here. We will provide you every material. I will be there directly in personal contact with you if you have any issue at any point of preparation. But you have to be focused. It is October. So if uh, any one of you want to take uh, exam in the next year, the June diet will be easier for you like this is October so uh, November December like four to five months within these our course will be completed then you will have revision exam you will have enough time for the revision and uh, here you can give the mock test also so first of all from today from day one just have a focus in which month you want to appear okay do not think that I am starting preparation and let's see what we'll do have a focus for June. It is easily achievable in June if you start pre preparing from now. Okay, this is my first suggestion towards you and uh, maintain the study. Doctors Academy has made a very good platform for you so that you can have these classes in the online basis. So keep that uh, your ID and password with you if you are going to hospital. You know, I completed this eight th theory, but I work in a very uh, busy schedule uh, hospital in an NGO. I had to go to my hospital six days from 8 a.m. to uh, 7 p.m. I work there. Even after the work, I studied and I could have passed. If, if I can pass, you guys definitely can pass. I know doctors have a very busy schedule. What you will do, you can have your doctor's academy ID password with you. During your duty, any of the lecture, no, lecture you start and r listen just 15 minutes, 20 minutes and keep this in mind. You don't have to study third, three hours and two and a half hours at a stretch. In the morning, if you uh, listen the lecture 30 minutes, in the afternoon, you listen the lecture 30 minutes, in the uh, during night, before sleeping 30 minutes, enough, more than enough, because every uh, every week we have only one lecture of around two and a half, year, half hours. So seven days, quite an enough time. Just keep your preparation in a continuous process. If you forget something, again listen to the lecture. Doctors Academy has made this opportunity for you. No coaching has this opportunity to have these recorded classes. So anytime you can have your lecture notes before the class, you can have the classes in your hand. So if you continue like this, I think it will be very easier for you to pass. Okay, so I will put the uh, book list uh, in a written form. If I, if I tell the names now, it will be difficult for you uh, to remember. Again, I am saying these books you will just keep with yourself. We are compiling every book part by part in our lecture notes. Like the other uh, centers, our lecture notes are not from inauthentic uh, sources. These are those books, specific parts are compiled together so that you don't need to search from three or four books. 
okay so just keep the books together carry the lecture note with you whenever you are going to hospital just have a look you are reading respiratory system just have a look every day 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes that time at the end of the day you will see that you have completed already one lecture you can revise twice or thrice okay